Hey, how we doing everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to Mr. Harris RYC YouTube channel. You like my glasses? These are new, you know, I got these, just got these, right? And it's supposed to be like, you can't see the lens. You know, can you see the lens? Can you see the lens? All right, because yeah, you know, I want to make sure that as I do my YouTube videos that you don't see no lens in my glasses. All right, so we're back with this guy, Dimash. Now you remember, uh, I got a chance to like, do a reaction to him a couple few weeks ago and everybody kept hitting me up saying you gotta see another video, you gotta see another video. I mean I could tell he could sing so don't beat me up, you know, but I really wasn't impressed. Um, and I was told there was just the wrong song that I listened to. Um, you remember the name of the song, Rick? Um, I forgot the name of the song we listened to before. It wasn't in English. So. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't in English. I know it was about a farmer and you know, you know, it was really wholesome lyrics. Um, but in any event, we're going to check out this song today. And a lot of you guys said in your comments, this is the one I should listen to. So um, we're going to check them out. We're going to see what all the fuss is about with Dimash. Kuda, Kuda, Kuda Bergen. Did I say that right? Kuda Bergen? Kuda Bergen. Kuda Bergen. Kuda Bergen. All right, I'm going to get my these on here. And... All right, you ready? Here we go. Let's check out Dimash. I need some more volume here. Uh-oh. Why do I laugh? Why do I cry?
Stop it. Stop it. That's like, that's like unbelievable. Um, that sounds like I'm listening to four people sing. Yeah. He sings bass. Then he goes to his baritone. Then he's singing in tenor. La 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 la. From that, he just goes to these whistle notes and like high soprano. He like does it all effortlessly. Like, um, sorry, I'm just trying to trying to like take all this in. I don't see his face wrinkle that much. I don't hear no crack in his voice and his placement. Um, that is unbelievable. I almost feel like I'm, I'm, I'm talking about something that that's not real. Like, and I wish I had saw this first. This is nothing like the other song that we sung, that he sung. I didn't hear any of those high falsettos, none of those low bass notes. This guy is a freak of nature. Like, God just said like, what am I gonna do with all these extra range of notes, it's all this extra vocal talent? I'll give it to Dimash. It's a bucket over there in the corner. He's got it all. Yo, man. His performance was like flawless. No cracks, no bad notes. It was like a walk in the park. You know how many faces I gotta make? <laughs> Just to get the low notes. Um, yo, this guy. I'm ready to say this is like one of the best vocalists. Let me catch myself. Hold on before I let this out of my mouth. Like, yo, this is like one of the best vocals I've ever heard in my life. Who else got a range like that? Did they sing like all the way through? Not like just some low tones and I whistled a little bit. He sung all the notes in between. And he sung them all well. I appreciated his baritone voice, his tenor voice, even his high, his high tenor voice. All that stuff sounded really, really, really good. And when he hit those high whistle notes, he was, he was riffing while he was up there. Like, this is easy for me. Um, Dimash, we are not worthy. Um, so for all of the fans who put down in there, in your comments to check out this song. I thank you because, you know, and I'm gonna keep it real all the time. When I first heard the first song, I was like, I don't see what the fuss was all about. And y'all gotta admit, you know, cause a lot of y'all did. You said, hey, you're right. That's not a good song. That's not a good song. You gotta hear some of these other songs. This right here, I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna hear this song. I gotta hear this again. Um, and again, and then I would really share this song, not just on my page, but I, I tell everybody, if you're a vocalist, you need to listen to and study to this guy. And this guy, and I'm gonna say this last thing about him, right? Besides just his, his range, which is just absolutely through the roof, his performance, and I put him on, and don't get mad at me, like I, I put him right there with the Whitney Houston's of the world, with the Beyonce's in the sense that when Beyonce does a performance, you don't really hear errors, you know? And you don't hear errors from Whitney in her heyday. Like she, her, her performances were flawless. But their songs weren't as difficult as this song he just sang. And it was flawless. I didn't hear one note that was like, I was a bad note, I was a bad run, or he was a little pitchy on that. Um, his intonation wasn't good. His, well, I can't really comment on his diction because I don't know the language. But everything else was like, 
I feel like it was a recording. Stop me. Is this a recording? Don't make me make a fool of myself, people. Um, amazing. Dimash. Dimash. Um, I'd go see him sing live. I I take all my students. Uh, uh, this he, he's a real deal. Um, again, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, yo, I'm 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 almost speechless a little bit. It don't happen to me very often. I talk a lot. Um, I really can't comprehend what I just saw. Um, it just seems really un, unreal. Um, but um, thanks for tuning in, Harris YouTube page. Comment, listen. We're about to you know increase some numbers here, so we're looking to have more things come to you guys. Um, so make sure your friends subscribe as well. Dimash is in the house. Um, all right, grace and peace, everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still kind of tripping a little bit, but um, thanks for tuning in.